Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, what you've said about their music, I mean, being honest, their music is pretty, well, mediocre at best. It's pretty medium. It's mediocre for amateurs, even. Yeah, yeah. So they're mediocre on an amateur level, and they want to be the big rock stars. Yeah. That's, that's the most hilarious thing. I, I suppose if everyone in the world does get brainwashed by Bernard and uh, everyone else uh, within the particular Destiny group, then they'll probably think, oh, equal music, you know, that's it's the <laughs> new thing. And then, yeah, music is going to be equally crappy, but... No yeah, one. Then, because then everybody will be rock stars and then none of it will matter. <laughs> yeah. And no one will sit in the audience because everyone wants to be on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's there's just going to be. Um, problem. There's going to be no audiences in an equal money system. Otherwise, it's idolizing uh, people. So, therefore, there just has to be a massive stage with every single person on it. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> And no one gets the ego show, yeah. Also, yeah. It, contra it, it contradicts their thing with the uh, listen to the message, not the messenger mm. thing. Because they want people to like their music basic, uh, based on it being their music. Yeah. It's like, I stand representative of the message, and when I make music about it, it's going to be great music, because it's from me, and I'm the message. You cannot possibly get more narcissistic than that. And I'm like, no, no, you, you want to... You want to judge the message separated from the messenger. So the message is the music. Look at the music for it being music, not who it came from or what their agenda is, just on the music itself. If it's good music and it conveys a message, fine. If it doesn't, you've been projecting into it. It just... Um, it strikes me that everything that Destiny does is just, well... It, it's pathetic isn't it you know when you look at it the whole big story of destiny is basically they just basically sheeple after after bernie poos after bernard mm -hmm. and they have no individuality and no creativity of any kind really or and they skills. expect people to be impressed <laughs> yeah yeah they expect people to be impressed by them copying emulating their uh their leader or leaders and the only people who are impressed are these idiots who are in the group anyway well, they don't really get anything done that's my problem with it mm. I mean I, I wouldn't mind half the things in Destiny you know only the the good things I mean forget the new age stuff the occultist ideas all that kind of stuff I mean if people want to follow that that's their own choice but the ideas of equality, correcting the elements in the economic system, it sounds all very good and appealing. I mean, that's why people get involved, why people go and have a look, because of some of the issues raised. But if they're actually dealing with those real issues, I, I think, you know, they probably could um, become much they more relevant. They have real actions, real examples, but they don't. Yeah. They're just completely in a well, world of their own. Yeah. Embarrassing, really. <laughs> yeah, I'm always thinking, hey, uh, show, show me a draft. Mm. Give, give me an explanation, an example, something that can work, not just daydreaming. Yeah. Like yeah. with, with uh, what would life would be like if you could wake up in an equal money system? And I watched this video by Anna and she was like, oh, I would wake up and I would just stretch for like half an hour and then feel the sun shine on my feet. I'm like, mm. what? <laughs> so you you want to be a leech on society, that's it? You, you want to sit around all day and relax? And that's it, really? New economic system, you being lazy? And I think that's what they really want. They want to go back to that state of kind of being teenagers, being allowed to do stuff, yeah. and having someone take care of them, having a big fat allowance, and you can do everything you want, and I don't know, go out and get laid constantly or something. Um, it sounds like fun, but... Rock stars and just not have problems <laughs> because someone else takes care of it. It is pathetic. It's little wonder they do attract a lot of these, uh, you know, young people who are a bit, well, out of the normal. They're not, you know, able to assert themselves into society very well. And they, they want to, you know, go back to, uh, well... Go back to their mother's breast, basically. You know, they want to go back to being fed by the Tita Society. And, you know, Bernard and the whole group 
that's not their key to become children again. They are, well, not only in appearance, but also in mentality, the uh, eternal child, because they never grow up. Mm. Seemingly. Well, the thing someone has to take care of them. True. So someone's someone going to have to work. Someone has to be the adult and do the mean decisions and tell yeah. them to not come home so late or not to... I don't know. Well, you know, and maybe, maybe, maybe in like 40 or 50 years they can get up enough money to get the destiny old folks home. <laughs> I don't know who donate for that. They don't have any money. <laughs> Trying to imagine all the people there, all uh, bickering, <laughs> you know, or, or maybe One just. Day when we have the eco money system, just a question of years. Yeah, you've got like Sonnet spies there uh, saying, you know, "Hello, I'm Lily, and I'm a little dead child." Which <laughs> <laughs> is like, you know, well with wrinkles. Yeah, you've you've got sort of like uh, half of them there, just like basically vegetating. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> wetting themselves, you know, and all this kind of stuff, you know, just like, and occasionally saying, equality! Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to self-forgive this, their incontinence away, like, yeah. trying to stop. Yeah. Age is an illusion. <laughs> yes. Give myself for wetting my pants right now. Yeah. And it's still there. Damn it's it. part of the control matrix, <laughs> you know. <laughs> The Illuminati are making me think I'm soiling myself. You know, <laughs> it's an illusion set up by uh, by Anu and the reptilians. They've returned. You know, some nonsense. Also spells. Yeah. It's part of the illusion. It's just a trick. They want me to believe that. <laughs>